Hey everyone, it's Paul's Q coming back to you. Got some ground chuck burgers, seven of them. I don't know how big they are, I didn't weigh them out. I'm gonna throw them on the pit boss. Someone was asking me a question of whether you can grill burgers and steaks without the sear zone. So, just doing a quick one, just to show that you can. Okay, we pretty well hit temperature that we were looking for. I got a set of 400, we're at 380 right now. Well, there's not the greatest, as you can see. It's blowing and snowing. It's 27 degrees Fahrenheit out here. Feeling more like 14 or 12, which is minus three Celsius, minus 10 Celsius with the wind chill. It's okay. Let's get this on. Okay, we've been about 10 minutes now. Five minutes, total of 15 right now. should be melted. Okay, there we are. We're all done. We're in the house. Cheese melted. Burgers are done. So in total, it was about 17 minutes of drilling and about 15 minutes of warming up. So half an hour total time I guess for the full cook let me cut in on one of these show you guys what we're looking at we like our burgers a little bit more on the medium side so we'll see what we got okay there we are there's what we're looking at nice and juicy medium cooked Perfect. Well, fast, quick one for you. Just to show you it can be done without using the sear zone. You don't need the sear zone to cook burgers. If you like this and you want to see some more, hit the subscribe. See you guys all on the next one. Bye.